sanitation districts of Los Angeles County have launched the Clearwater Program to assure continuation of a system of wastewater management that protects public health and the environment. You know, most people don't give wastewater much thought. Even though we each contribute around 90 gallons to the wastewater system every day. So exactly what is the wastewater system? There are two major wastewater systems in Los Angeles County. One is run by the City of Los Angeles and the other is run by the Sanitation Districts of Los Angeles County, a partnership of 24 independent districts serving 78 cities plus unincorporated county areas. Each district is governed by a board of directors made up of the mayors of the cities served and the chair of the county board of supervisors for unincorporated areas. By jointly operating a regionalized system, cities save money and maintain local control. Wastewater from homes and businesses enters local sewers, then flows through large trunk sewers that connect to wastewater treatment plants. After treatment, the water is either reused or discharged into a river or the ocean. The Sanitation District's network includes 10 water reclamation plants, the Joint Water Pollution Control Plant in Carson, and over 1,300 miles of trunk sewers. We treat more than 510 million gallons of wastewater every day, enough to fill the Rose Bowl six times over. Protecting public health and the environment are our top priorities. I'm here with Bill Smith at one of the 10 water reclamation plants where wastewater is processed using state-of-the-art technology, replicating the natural water cycle. And it's good to keep in mind that there is no new water. The water cycle has purified and recirculated the same water on the planet for millions of years. In nature, when wastes first enter a river, the heavy materials settle to the bottom. Lighter materials flow downriver with the current. In the treatment plant, the wastewater is piped into tanks, where heavier, solid materials settle to the bottom. Floatable materials are skimmed from the top, and both are removed. This is called primary treatment. Next, in secondary treatment, beneficial microorganisms feed on the remaining organic material in the wastewater. The same thing happens in nature. Microorganisms in the river digest organic material. In the third step, tertiary treatment, the water flows through a system of filters that remove nearly all of the remaining suspended materials. This compares to the natural system, where water filters down through the earth to underground aquifers. After tertiary treatment, a disinfectant is added to kill any remaining microorganisms, completing the water reclamation process. 40% of the high quality water from the water reclamation plants is beneficially reused. Most of it goes to recharging the local groundwater supply. The balance distributed by public and private water suppliers flows through a system of purple pipes to over 500 reuse sites such as golf courses, nurseries, schoolyards, and parks. The sanitation districts are considered a world leader in recycling water, but the demand has been slow to grow and nearly 60% of the reclaimed water goes into rivers and flows to the ocean. The Clearwater program focuses on an area called the Joint Outfall System. 17 of the 24 sanitation districts make up the Joint Outfall System, covering 640 square miles from the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains to San Pedro Bay, and from the South Bay beach cities to the county border. The joint outfall system includes 73 cities and unincorporated county areas, six water reclamation plants, and the joint water pollution control plant. The sanitation districts have operated the joint plant here in Carson since 1928. Every day, over 320 million gallons of wastewater enter this plant and are treated to a secondary level, the same as the biological treatment at the water reclamation plants. This includes wastewater from homes, businesses, and industry, and the solids from the upstream plants. We treat and recycle the solids, called biosolids, and use methane gas generated from the solids treatment to provide enough electricity to operate the joint plant. The treated water that is too salty for reuse is then sent through two six-mile-long tunnels to the ocean. The tunnels are both in use every day conveying hundreds of millions of gallons of treated wastewater to ocean outfalls off White Point on the Palos Verdes Peninsula, where the treated water is discharged through ocean bottom outfalls that are 200 feet deep and one and a half miles offshore. The first tunnel was built in 1937 
and a second one was built in 1958. The two tunnels are old and they have not been inspected for more than 50 years. The Clearwater program will produce a new facilities plan that examines the entire system. One of the most critical elements of the Clearwater program is the need to inspect the 50 and 80 year old tunnels and make any repairs that may be needed. Massive quantities of water flow through the tunnels every day. At the same time, the population continues to grow. The only way to take either one of the old tunnels out of service for inspection and repair is to build a new tunnel and outfall. A new tunnel and ocean outfall would also improve reliability in the event of a major earthquake. And after inspection and needed repairs, the old tunnels can be placed back in service with confidence. The Clearwater program will analyze that option, address the challenges of meeting the long-term wastewater treatment needs of the growing population, and continue the mission of protecting public health, the environment, and our precious water resources. The sanitation districts are looking to the community for ideas, thoughts, and opinions about the Clearwater program. If the tunnel is to be built, the crucial question center on the tunnel's route and how to minimize construction impacts. Every possible route in the shaded area on this map is being researched and analyzed. Many factors would have to be considered in order to identify the best possible alignment. If a new tunnel is recommended and approved, construction would take place far underground using state-of-the-art tunnel boring machines. This is the safest, least disruptive method and avoids street-level excavations and massive traffic disruption. We will need to identify construction shaft locations. The shaft will be the access point where the tunnel machines and construction materials can be lowered into the ground and excavated soil can be removed. The planning phase of the Clearwater program will continue through 2009. If a new tunnel and outfall are to be constructed, final design will begin and construction could start around 2012 with completion around 2020. The cost of a tunnel and ocean outfall is estimated at approximately one to two billion in today's dollars and will be shared by all of the residential, commercial, and industrial wastewater dischargers in the joint outfall system. In other words, those who use the system and will benefit from the improvements. Wastewater management is vital. It is a necessity, not a convenience. We've come a long way from the early days of the Los Angeles Pueblo when wastewater was simply collected in buckets and thrown into agricultural fields and local rivers and streams. Today, our state-of-the-art wastewater management system protects the environment and our public health, and life expectancy has doubled. The sanitation districts want and need your participation in this important process, so please let us know what you think. You can visit the Clearwater Program website, send an email, or call our toll-free number. Let's all work together today to protect and improve our environment tomorrow. Thank you.